So, good morning. Let us start our discussion on antiviral agents. So, in the last uh, several lectures, we have discussed uh, some of the antiviral agents which are you know, useful against several types of viruses. Okay, so we basically we started that virus is a kind of a particle which is which can undergo multiplications once it, it will enter into the human body. Although the viruses uh, don't have their own genetic machinery, but they, they are majorly dependent upon the host cells. So once they enter into the host cells, they will utilize the genetic machinery of the and as well as uh, cellular machinery of the host cells and will be able to multiply from one to many cells. So considering this, we have seen several kinds of the targets basically for uh, various types of these uh, viruses. So you can see on the, the screen that several types of the viral targets are there and many of the drugs are available which can inhibit you know, from for one or more than that of these targets. So we visited uh, several of the drugs such as amantidine which is uh, uh, this kind of uh, cage cyclic structure is present into that and that is made up of uh, uh, kind of aliphatic amine is present into the structure of MNT. So we visited this drug and majorly uh, this drug is having a cage-like structure. So that is using a kind of flu and it is uh, the another structural like co-analog of uh, structural analog of this uh, MNT is remantidine. So remantidine is a drug which has shown its applications in Alzheimer's disease. So this drug is described to the geriatric patients where they after a certain uh, time they will lose their memory and we also learned some of the key concepts and among them and the meters we have seen some of these drugs and also and fluvar type and that is another class of the drug we have seen our previous lectures that is this protease inhibitors so various types of protease inhibitors such as this Lopinavir, Sakinavir, Indinavir, Lenfinavir, and Tritonavir are the those kinds of protease inhibitors. So basically, they are having, uh, they are inhibiting the protease enzyme, so which is present in the human cells, and later on, they you know, the viral control uh, multiplication can be. Nucleic acid inhibitors. So we have basically seen uh, this uh, nucleic. Uh, viral DNA polymerase inhibitors. Among them, the major and prominent drug is acyclovid. So acyclovid is less stable as it is having this purine no, uh, scaffold in its structure. And some other drugs such as pencyclovid, gencyclovid, and velcyclovid we have seen. Velcyclovid is again a prodrug of acyclovid. And that is, as you can see, there is a structural analog of just this oxygen is further uh, have, uh, coupled with valine amino acid. So that's why it is called well cyclovir. So valine major, this well stands for valine. So uh, in fact, it is also a kind of a cyclovir. Well plus a cyclovir, that is called well cyclovir. So this we already have seen in our previous lecture that these are the basically sugar analogs. These are having nucleosides, or we can call them as a nitrogenous base and sugar uh, goes into the structure. So these are the drugs which will undergo phosphorylation, biphosphate, monophosphate, monophosphate, biphosphate, and triphosphate. So triphosphate is one of the active form of this uh, protease inhibitors and, and that protease inhibitors will be able to show that into a uh, biological activity. So friends, then we have seen that structural, this, as I have told you, the cycle of it will undergo phosphorylation, we create monophosphate, triphosphate, and triphosphate, and then triphosphate will undergo for inhibition of this uh, DNA polymerase enzyme. A DNA polymerase enzyme is the enzyme which is involved in construction of DNA. So that way it will, uh, these are the drugs will hamper the viral multiplication. The viral well, cyclovir, uh, as I have told you, oral, oral bioavailability of a cyclovir is quite low, just 50 to 30 percent of oral bioavailability. So, this bioavailability is much less. That cannot be considered as a very good kind of bioavailability. So, under these circumstances, uh, to improve the bioavailability of a cyclovir, this L well ester of pro drug is created, and that will that is more effective uh, for 
pursuing the biological or improving the biology. But uh, now onwards, we have to look for our uh, this uh, another, another classes of this antiviral agents, and among them, these classes are nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. So, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, as you can see, that we know that nucleosides are generally having nitrogenous bases, and among these nitrogenous bases, the major component may be adenosine. Uh, pure, or uh, pure adenine, guanine, cytosine, thymine, and uracil. So these are the nitrogenous bases are present. But when the nitrogenous bases combine with the sugar, so it is called nucleoside. Okay. And if this nitrogenous base, if sugar, if these two are further combined with the protein, uh, with the phosphorus, then it is called as nucleotide. So that way, nucleotide names are given. So, with respect to this, uh, yeah, it is uh, as you can see on the screen that zidovudine is basically three dash hydroxyl group, which uh, uh, has uh, has been replaced by uh, azido, means N3, where nitrogen is bonded with other nitrogen and that is further bonded with other nitrogen. So, three nitrogens are attached with each other. So, that functional group is called as uh, azido function. And this here we can see this zero woodin is basically that is uh, having this uh, function group. Okay, so zero woodin is uh, this is the drug, and another class of the drug is stevodine. So stevodine, as you can see in the structure, only difference is the whatever the N3 which was present in zero woodin so that has been removed, and now that is uh, having uh, N3. So that is the structure of. A difference between zero and stavudine. Okay. And after that, another drug is lamivudine. So lamivudine is also this kind of class of the drug, but as you can see, only difference is as it highlighted in the yellow structure that this is a drug which is having uh thiophyl ring in, into its structure, and uh, basically one of the oxygen analog is also there, and it is also incorporated in the sulfur analog. So that is the the structure for this steroidine and steroidine is basically is basically a thymidine analog so whatever the ring structure which is present in here that is uh, i mean to say thymidine and this is zero ring which is basically adenosine or inosine analog is there Right. Then another uh, class of the drug is lam uh, lamivudine. So lamivudine is basically a kind of cytidine analog. So here uh, CO and NH2 is present and that is uh, uh, there. 
then zalcitabine as the name says zalcitabine so here a five member sugar ring is on there but there is no uh, oh on this side uh, cyclic ring and this uh, cyclic ring is basically cytosine so that is cytosine analog uh, zalcitabine then there are some other drugs are also there. Abacavir is also that kind of drug, and only the difference is it is adenosine and uh, But here there are the, uh, cyclopropyl amine is present in the structure. Dinanosine is ionosine analog. This uh, nitrogenous base is present over there. That is ionosine base. So dinanosine uh, is the name of this. Okay, and each and every drug are given three letter code. For example, AZT that is uh, zero odine, it's a uh, steodine that is D40, then odine is 3TC, uh, zalcitamine is DDC. So all are basically nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and um, they are having their specific uh, action. Okay, this Amakavir is also there. And as you can see, a lamiodine and as it is mentioned here, and tri and and tricytabine. These are the analogs which is having where three dash carbon is being replaced. So it is just like this. Uh, it is uh, oxathia analogs where five member also uh, ring which is composed of having oxygen as well as sulfur into its structure. So. These are all nucleoside uh, US transcriptase inhibitors. They are also called as NRTIs, uh, NRTIs. But apart from, and what is the mechanism of action? The mechanism of action is same as that of the other drug. They also undergo, uh, uh, these are the on the analogs, they like 3 dash hydroxyl group, but they will undergo metabolism and some, and, and uh, uh, will, once they will enter the cell, they will be phosphorylated to triphosphate. They say, Baki uh, Kejo drug we have discussed previously. So, also they will undergo phosphorylation just like this. A cyclovir, they will undergo monophosphorylation, biphosphorylation, and triphosphorylation. Mm -hmm. Similarly, this nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors also they will undergo phosphorylation like this. Uh, I mean to say, uh, monophosphorylation, biphosphorylation, and triphosphorylation. Once they will undergo triphosphorylation, then they will be able to inhibit the reverse transcriptase enzyme. So, what is the role of reverse transcriptase? Uh, as, as the name suggests, reverse transcriptase. So, basically, they are responsible for synthesis of DNA from RNA. So, uh, reverse transcriptase ka role hi hota hai. it will synthesize the DNA from RNA but in this case this kind of non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors such as uh, zero voting as you can see is a P that will inhibit the further synthesis of DNA and the synthesis of DNA because what the viruses are generally do they say these are the culprits they are the ghost or they are the uh, major villains so what they are doing, what just uh, majorly they are, uh, whatever the DNA of human genome DNA is there. So they generally try to uh, create the mutations. Mutated DNA will produce several uh, due to transcription and translation will produce the, um, other types of the proteins. So that way, if we want to prevent the this kind of, if we want to prevent the formation of these proteins, it is much necessary to inhibit this kind of enzyme. Reverse transcriptase, which synthesizes DNA from RNA. Okay, so this is the uh, three dash hydroxyl group, which is not present in these kinds of structure, and that way uh, the growing chain cannot be formed further because. DNA ke structure mein ki dono hona chahiye 3 dash and 5 dash so 3 dash ke sath attachment ho chuka hai so if, uh, sorry 5 dash ke sath attachment ho chuka hai 3 dash is hydroxyl group is not present there then next synthesis will not be formed ya aapko pata hona chahiye ki DNA is a kind of Watson Crick model there is a double DNA helix model just like and so it so be a spiral shape model which is there and uh, 3 dash end is there, so uska jo end hota hai, 5 dash hota hai, 5 dash candy ke saath dousra uh, amino acid of in this uh, nucleoside will be attached to the structure. Okay, so in the absence of 3 dash hydroxyl group in these drugs, as you can see there, you cannot highlight any hydroxyl group which is present over here. This hydroxyl group is 5 dash, 
and 3 dash hydroxyl group has been replaced in this case with N3. There is no 3 dash, no 3 dash. Here also there is no 3 dash. On your petosi, the oxygen is not there. 3 dash hydroxyl group is present. Rick bar wo DNA ke chain may enter ho jata hai. As you can see, zero odin is entered. Then further synthesis of DNA is possible. But purine or pyrimidine analogs, and you will have adenine, cytosine, thymine, curase, all these nitrogenous bases possess 3 dash hydroxyl group. एक तो उनका अटैचमेंट थ्री डैश और फाइव डैश के साथ ही होता है तो ये थ्री डैश वाले हाइड्रोक्साइड ग्रुप के साथ आगे का अब ये जो नेट नाइट्रोजनियस भेज रहा है ना उसका फाइव डैश एंड का अटैचमेंट होगा तो ऑलरेडी इफ देर इज नो हाइड्रोक्साइड ग्रुप इन दिस ड्रग्स तो नेचरली देर इज नो स्कोप फॉर � and we can call them all of them as a pro drug. The reason behind is that unless and until they are phosphorylated, not unless and until they are not phosphorylated, they will not be uh, allowed to enter into the cellular you know, genetic machine and into say DNA. Okay, so with respect to that, friends, this is basically a kind of uh, uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and. उससे पहले भी मैंने आपको एक इफ यू रिफर टू सम ऑफ माय ऑन लेडी ऑफ रोडेड लेक्चर्स देन आई हैव शोन यू सेवरल स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजनियस बेसिस सेसेस यूरिन पीरिमिडिन आई मीन यूरिसिन एंड वन ग्वानिन एट्सेट्रा सो वेर वी हैव सीन दोस स्ट्रक्चर्स दे बिलोंग टू द नाइट्रोजनियस बेसिस ओके I hope that up to this it is clear. So further another uh, class of this antiviral drugs, antiviral agent is non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Non-nucleoside, so as the name suggests non-nucleoside, so there are no nucleoside or nucleoside bases which are present in this kinds of the drugs. Non-nucleoside, so what are the actually if you refer to the structures of nucleosides? So Nucleoside reverse transcriptase and RDI. So all were having whether some of them are cytosine analog, some of them were uh, thymine analog or ionosine analog or uh, what I mean to say, uh, yes, thymine analog. But these non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors, they are not having any nitrogenous base in their structures. Any kind of purine, any kind of pyrimidine nitrogenous bases. So that's why, although their mode of action is same, their mechanism of action, their mode of target, choice of protein, um, uh, so pharmacological target, all the things are same. That is reverse transcriptase is that they will be exiting their antiviral action through the inhibition of reverse transcriptase enzyme. So that is mode of action is same, but however, structures are different. Such as nevirapine, del, uh, delaverdine, ifavirenz, and these other drugs, they don't possess any kind of nitrogenous. Although you can see in their structure, there are so many types of uh, this nevirapine is there. But if you refer to the structure of this nevirapine, basically the structure of nevirapine is like butterfly. Central portion you can consider this as a central portion, and these two rings you can consider it as a butterfly. So that's why this nevirapine is a uh, having a butterfly kind of the structure, and already it is having a cyclopropane uh, ring in it. Then it comes to uh, this is these two are the pyridine, pyridine rings, and here this is also pyridine ring. You can call it as azobenzene. It is having a nitrogen in the uh, six member member cyclic ring structure. Then it, this is also another drug that is ifavirenz and uh, cyclopropyl cyclopropyl alkyl uh, ethyl ethyl that is also present in this guys. Okay, then HIV uh, protease inhibitors we have already seen. So all of them are non nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors and they are reversible inhibitors. So sometimes also they show that interaction and positive event inside of reverse transcriptase enzyme. Okay, here I have uh, so this is basically nevirapine. So just a bola butterfly type of the structure. Right? So one of the wing, wing one, is this, another wing is wing. 
they yeah, here it is also mentioned it is a rigid butterfly like conformation that makes this molecule as a variable. So this is the metabolism uh, steps of nevirapine. We don't have to go into depth of this, but the only if, um, we have to understand what is the meaning of these all um, nucleoside and non nucleoside transcriptase inhibitors. Now, friends, after this, another class of the drug is the release inhibitors, and among the release inhibitors, we have majorly two drug drugs are the example that is sanamavir and. Okay, so we, we, what are these drugs? Basically, oseltamivir, this is a, a anti, a flu, or you majorly it is used in flu, and that is going to inhibit the neuraminidase enzyme. So whenever a virus cell which is coming out of from the a particular cell and want to try to multiply, so there, there way it is basically an enzyme is prepared. Its name is neuraminidase enzyme. Okay, so that way neuraminidase enzyme. We we'll try to degrade the layer or layer around this. We we'll try to leave uh, the virus particle, which is virion, from that uh, host, this infected host cells, then viral replication. What the neuraminidase inhibitor uh, generally do, as you can see, this is the normal, which will occur in the absence of neuraminidase inhibitor, oseltamivir and zanamivir. But in the presence of neuraminidase inhibitor, this uh, basically these are the neuraminidase. Uh, we will block the neuraminidase enzyme and will not allow to uh, multi will not allow the multiplication of virus or virus cells. Okay, so that way uh, we can halt the viral replication. So this way, this uh, oseltamivir, which is over here, and zanamivir. Okay. So, oseltamivir is basically uh, marketed as a tiny flu in COVID-19 patients, the patients who are affected with COVID-19, this uh, oseltamivir is prescribed. Although this drug is used in influenza kind of the viruses. Or swine flu may be prescribed because uh, the viral, uh, that is difficult to kill the virus cells. But, uh, these drugs are given in trade name, marketed more for uh, the name of marketed formulations for this class of the drugs that is Tamiflu and conformational change which will allow the binding of these kinds of the drugs. Sanamivir is here, so basically they are generated from this natural substrate uh, DNA. Okay, so neuraminic acid will be the name of that. And that does not allow to fit well into the sialic acid binding site of viral neuraminidase enzyme. In that way, they are able to uh, develop. So, oseltamivir, this is a structure of oseltamivir, although it is a um, non heterocyclic class of compound and it possesses this uh, cyclohexene uh, nucleus. And once it will undergo metabolism such as hydrolysis, then this uh, ethyl ester which will undergo hydrolysis and it will make carboxylic acid. And okay, so uh, acetamivir is not a natural product, but it is derived from natural product, shikibic acid. So I think you people, if you have learned the pharmacognosy, then in pharmacognosy you might have visited several pathways. Shikibic acid pathway, nevalonic acid pathways for synthesis of cholesterol and lipids. There you might have visited this shikibic acid. So that is one of the natural products. And neuraminidase is a first orally active neuraminidase. Uh, this acetamivir is given orally, and tab tablets are available. After the video, there is a box, but as a box, there is a box, and there is a box, and there is a box. And if you imagine the corona, you will not have to do it. Then, if you, the doctors are generally prescribing, these are the take home medicines that you can take these medicines at uh, your home. Okay. So, uh, purpose is to tell only uh, majorly. I uh, also the, we had a discussion previously that oseltamivir is not having any kind of side effects. Uh, majorly, side effects are various. 
Yeah, fossil dimer is a non heterocyclic compound. There is no hetero atom present in the cycle. It is simply cyclohexene derivative. Okay, and zanamivir. Zanamivir is basically this is a heterocyclic ring and that is a ox, um, having oxygen into this cyclohexene. You can call it as uh, tetrahydropyrane. Okay, so with that way, this zanamivir uh, uh, is there. Basically, it is neuraminic acid derivative. Okay, and it is also having poor bioavailability and poor plasma portion. Both the kinds of uh, 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 this influenza is, uh, is useful. Okay, so that's why it is basically influenza A and influenza B kind of the viruses, and that is uh, in this. So with this, we will stop up to this. Uh, I have, uh, if you have any other doubts or questions, you can ask to me, right? And these are the references you can refer for further reading. Already this book, uh, G.L. Patrick and his world reason we have shared with you previously. There are certain other articles are also given here. With this, we will be stopping up to here. And thank you, everyone. Thank you so much.